the brand new Oxygen OS 16 update is here and I've been trying out the beta on the OnePlus 13S and this is actually a big update. It brings a number of UI changes, lots of new widgets, lots of new features, a little actually a lot of inspiration from iOS 26 and even one UI and you know what I'm going to show you everything even the minusculest the tiniest the littlest details so you know what hit that subscribe button if you love our maximum effort and let's go So starting off with the lock screen, remember how OnePlus brought Flux themes with Oxygen OS 15? Well, Oxygen OS 16 brings Flux themes, wait for it, 2.0. I mean, this makes the lock screen a whole lot more dynamic. Like there's cool new themes which have this motion in them, like these mountains or this live clock with flying seagulls or the cowboy on the horse. And yeah, you can now set live photos as wallpapers, even add this depth effect like iOS lock screen. And if that's not enough, you can even set videos as wallpapers, just like one UI. And I think this looks cool. I also spotted two new Oxygen OS wallpapers. And there's also a new AI cinematic motion wallpaper feature, which lets you convert any image into an actual live wallpaper. And you also get full screen always on display again, like Apple and Samsung, but this ain't permanent. Turns off after like, six, seven seconds. But what's also inspired from iOS 26 and even One UI are the new lock screen widgets. Yes, you can now add something like calculator, recorder, alarm, steps, and all of those widgets directly on the lock screen. And I also noticed some tiny changes like this new fingerprint unlock animations to choose from. And even the face unlock animation is new, which is kind of cute. Now let's face it, Oxygen OS has always been kind of known for its buttery smooth animations and yeah, they're making it even better. Yeah, all those buttery smooth animations we like in Oxygen OS are now in a whole lot more places like the shelf or the app door and even the navigation buttons. I mean, just look at this. This is so cool. Now adding to that, OnePlus is also using what they call flow motion and now this is resulting in even smoother transitions and animations within apps. I mean, you can see it in the Notes app. You can see it in the Photos app. And even when you're jumping from AOD to the lock screen to the home screen, you can feel it. And the whole UI feels super smooth. I mean, Oxygen OS 15 itself was very smooth, but this takes it to a whole another level. And when you finally get to the home screen, you'll notice a number of changes and all these changes are really cool. And first up, check this out. The home screen menu has changed a bit with new icons. And I see OnePlus has removed the custom icon option from here, but you now get auto dark icons feature. So the app icons get this dark theme when you enable dark mode. And again, kind of looks like iOS, but here's the major change. You can now resize app icons, folders, even widgets the way you want. You can set it into a rectangle or a square. And this looks super cool. I mean, check out the BGMI icon now. Even some icons have changed like the clock which now says never settle, nice. But you know what, my favorite change on the home screen is the new widgets, I mean finally. Look first up, the widgets panel has completely changed, it finally looks more modern and yes you have some cool new widgets. So there's AI suggest which shows you the clocks, some most used apps and swiping down shows you your steps and more and this will get better based on your usage. There's also a ton of different clock widgets now in different styles and all of these look way better than the usual simpler widget. And same with the weather widgets, I mean these look great. There's also widgets for IR remote, which is handy. There's widgets for step tracking. I mean, this was like the missing piece in the Oxygen OS puzzle, and I'm glad they filled it. Now, moving on from the home screen, you swipe up and you get a brand new app drawer. Yeah, this is what the new app drawer looks like, and the search bar has moved down for, you know, easier one-hand access. And now when you drag along the letters on the edge to find apps, it now shows you only those apps instead of the full list. And then there's the big feature. Swipe left in the app drawer, and you get these categories, which automatically groups into different categories. I mean, where have we seen this before? Oh, wait, iOS. And we also like how the categories page shows you these recently installed apps in a pill on the top, and that's a nice touch. Now next up is something you've already probably noticed by now. So the Oxygen OS 16 update brings this new Gaucasian, Gaussian, I don't know shit, blood everywhere. And yeah, this looks pretty nice, pretty cool. Who are we kidding? It's liquid glass. I mean, you can see it in the calculator app. You can see it in the voice recorder app, you know, something like in the menu, in the photos app. Even the system app icons now have a bit more detail, more depth, like the clock, the camera, the settings, etc. And even the lock screen widgets I showed you earlier have that glass-like design and so do the app categories and a few other places. You get the idea. Now, some of you might like it, some of you might hate it, but it's okay. We are in the glass era now. Now, what's an Android update without some changes to the quick settings page? And Oxygen OS 16 makes the quick settings page on Oxygen OS a lot more customizable. I mean, first up, the edit option has moved from bottom to the top. And once you go in edit mode, you can now finally reposition those big tiles, even remove them altogether. There's also space to add two pill shaped controls. And for example, you add the ringer here and it gives you more controls, which is pretty cool. And there's two very interesting features here as well. 
Like in classic style, you can change the tile shape from these circles to square, uh, window, squircle, rhombus, etc. And when you're using the split style, you get this new multicolor option and this adds colors to your tiles and this looks pretty cool. The quick Sync page also has this new outdoor mode, which is pretty handy, I think. I mean, you can see this outdoor mode toggle in the quick settings, which automatically turns on background noise cancellation for calls, sets the screen off time to five minutes and maxes your notification and ring volumes. So you don't miss them when you're in the crowd. So kind of like set for outdoor use. And there's even a widget for this. So let me know if you find this useful. Apart from all of these cool visual changes, a lot of the stock apps in Oxygen OS are getting some big changes. And first of all, in the camera app, I see two new settings in the video. Lock white balance so the colors don't bounce while recording videos. And adaptive frame rate, which auto reduces frame rate to get better quality videos, especially in low light. There's also new smart suggestions for photos and videos, but it doesn't seem to be working as of yet. Then there's the Game Assistant app, which now has a much cleaner UI, no more of those instant game banners. And it looks like a dedicated game mode app. And even the gaming tools get a redesign, so it's easier to check data and change modes. Even the weather app gets new animations now, it's so much more beautiful. Then there's the major change, which I see in the Photos app, I mean, it gets a completely new layout, like see the pill-shaped photos and albums tab menu at the bottom. And yeah, even the albums page gets a brand new design, it shows you your frequently used albums and then others. There's also the featured section for people, pets, memories, and even some smart categories. And when you open a photo or video, you'll see this bottom toolbar, which is more compact now, and you can swipe up to see the photo details, just like on a Samsung or an iPhone. But what's an Android update without some new AI features? And Oxygen OS 16 obviously is bringing some new, but actually useful AI features. First up, the Mindspace feature is now getting integrated with Gemini and there's also new AI-powered collections, which automatically groups related stuff together. You can even ask questions inside the Mindspace app itself. Basically, it's getting better, but it's not here yet on our phones. And phones which have a dedicated plus key like the OnePlus 13S or even the future OnePlus phones, you can now hold the key to record a voice note and it'll be transcribed and saved to your Mindspace. Yes, a little, just a little inspiration from nothing. And like One UI, you can now search using AI and settings, so you can just use natural language to find what you're looking. The document scanner feature in camera gets AI features too, like option to enhance the photo, you know, unblur using AI and remove glares and shadows. And speaking of which, the Photos app gets a new AI relight feature, and this analyzes lighting in your portraits and fixes it. Like in this photo clicked indoors, it fills in extra light to highlight the subject, or in this outdoor photo, it balances the uneven lighting on the face by adding more natural light. Even the voice recorder app gets an AI upgrade. It now transcribes the voices in real time as you're recording while also identifying the speakers. And once you're done, you can generate a full summary like earlier. There's also a new clear voice feature which removes background noise from your recordings, kind of like Samsung's audio eraser. Then there's AI notes which can now create some nice mind maps and tables which can save as images, PDF or a note itself, duh. Plus the AI assistant for notes is replaced by AI writer which now works everywhere. It now gets more features. I mean, now you can make it write freestyle stuff. Just choose a template and tell it what to include. It even gets the context. Like, check this. I'm posting a photo on Instagram and the AI writer magically just makes up a caption for me. No prompts, no extra typing. It just kind of knows which is also a little scary. The AI summary feature has also gotten better. It now gives you a more detailed summary with bullet and pointers instead of a bland one. And there's also AI play labs coming for some cool experimental AI features. And the good thing is the AI features aren't scattered here and there. You now get a dedicated AI tab in settings where you can find all the AI features similar to, once again, Samsung phones. Okay, so that was a lot of AI. But what Android update is complete without some changes to the Settings app. So this is the new Settings app in the Oxygen OS 16 update. And now there's a dedicated page for connectivity with all of your devices that you may want to control or sync with your phone, like, you know, tablet, PC, anything. It now looks simpler and less cluttered compared to Oxygen OS 15. There's a new touch interactions feature that has been updated. And see this, when you bring two OnePlus phones together, you get that instant connection with this animation and you can then share photos, files and stuff. And again, looks and feels exactly like the iPhone. Now coming back to the settings app, you have new auto Wi-Fi option which automatically turns on Wi-Fi when you're near a previously connected network. But one strange thing I noticed is you no longer see the Wi-Fi signal strength like earlier, it just shows you if it's good. Bluetooth devices that you don't use or are likely to not use are now clubbed in a separate other devices tab so it looks cleaner. And you also notice new pill-shaped bars for changing volume, haptics, etc. in the settings. There's also a new notification snoozing option so you can snooze your notifications for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, again, a One UI feature. The whole battery menu has also changed. You now get three buttons for different battery modes. No need to tap battery mode and then do it. Yeah, this kind of saves a tap. And even battery graph style has changed. It even shows you the screen off time along with the screen on time and more battery stats for each app. 
There's also some very tiny changes like the edge lighting effect. You can now apply it for calls too. And there's a new one serif font in settings, which I honestly don't give a. Now remember the fluid cloud feature in Oxygen OS 15? Yeah, nobody remembers that because we all call it live activities, live alerts, and it's getting better in Oxygen OS 16. I mean, it just now supports live updates from more apps like Google, Google Wallet, Maps, Sports from Google. So yeah, you get to see live scores, winning probability, and all of that stuff, and also movie ticket reminders. You even get some nicer controls for music or other content playing on your phone. Now finally, it's time for the hidden Easter eggs. So OnePlus has mentioned that they've added 16 new Easter eggs in the Oxygen OS 16 update. And we guys, are we love finding new stuff. We are really into it. I mean, you know how maximum effort we put. So we found two of those Easter eggs. And one of them is something we already know, like when you press one plus and then equals in calculator, it shows you the never settle animation and it's brand new now. And then there's dialing one plus in the phone app, which starts a never settle call, which says something like, Face the unknown. It takes courage to be... Look, if you ask me my opinion on the new Oxygen OS 16 update, I'd say I really like it. I mean, we all love how smooth OnePlus phones are, and this is taking that to the next level while bringing a lot of the UI changes, new customization features, liquid dust, I'm, I'm sorry, blur effect, smarter AI, and yeah, they're getting super close to Galaxy AI this time, I think. And I know Oxygen OS 16 takes more inspiration from One UI and even iOS 26, but honestly, that's a good thing. I mean, all the speed, all the smoothness of Oxygen OS matched with One UI goodies. Yeah, that's a killer Android combo, don't you think? Anyway, I want to know from you guys, what do you guys think of the new Oxygen OS 16 update? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.